Hello there, my name is Tenarium, and today I'm playing Swimming Anime Dating Sim. So this is a game I've been asked to be played a few times. Never got round to it. Uh, people told me how silly and stupid it was, and how it's a terrible, terrible game, and then I think I read it for like five, well, played it for five minutes. About a year ago, didn't see anything particularly wrong with it, and never bothered picking it up. But, however, here I am. May as well uh, give this a fair crack of the whip, shall we not? Uh, you might notice there is no background music. So, I'm putting in my own music in post as of 3, 2, 1, BAM! This will be on loop for the whole playthrough, so you better like this music. Should get cracking. Uh. First day in a new high school, and I'm on time and everything. The, don't make that sound like too much of an achievement. Success! I'm Mizu Oyogu. It's kind of a pain transferring my credits as a senior, but hey, at least meeting new people should be fun, right? Why did you move school in the first place? Hallway cool, I've got this. I feel as if you're, ce you're celebrating a little too early. <laughs> yes, we've established this as a hall. Go you! And you're also showing up on time. Yeah, now this is the school part to worry about. I'm supposed to get to P222 and the nearest room is C136. See, what did I say about celebrating too soon? This is always going to happen. Real helpful. Yeah, maybe I should just ask for direct... Who the fuck are you? C can we make it implode so we can see everything? No? Okay. So, just some really chiseled, topless man is looking at me. First day in school, I'm sure it's normal. Must be in, like, Norfolk or something. Well, if I'd known my new school had this kind of dress code, maybe I would have dressed more creatively this morning. Well, I'm a girl, so, I mean, hmm, I, I, I'm not sure it works both ways. I think you'd be sent home. Hello, miss, I couldn't help but noticing, but you seem a bit lost. Shirtless dude is this guy's name. Shirtless dude. Didn't even bother. Didn't even bother. Oh, yeah, he's one to talk about losing things. Where's your shirt, dude? Yeah, I'm new here. The school is a maze. Can you help me find P222? It's easy to lose your way here. If you go up these stairs, you come to an eating area. Take the second left and just keep going down that hallway until you come to a lounge. Then go straight and it should be on your right. I'm not going to remember a single thing of that. So, you come to an E3, something about a left, and keep going or something. I'm doomed, yeah. See, celebrating too early, it was always bound to get into this position. There's no way I'll remember all that. Could you show me the way? Oh, look at me, trying to make friends already. I think I could spare a few minutes. Oh, you're too kind. Should I ask about his shirt? I should totally ask about his shirt. So what's with the shirt? Or, you know, lack thereof. Oh, the swim coach has us do everything in our swim gear. If we go to all our classes without our shirts, we won't be self-conscious at tournaments. I'm not sure that those are things which would pass in real life. I'm just going to be completely honest and put that out there now. I, I'm not sure you could get away with that. I can't... I don't... How do you even get permission for... You know, I'm not even going to question this, it's fine. Yeah, it, it, the less of a smart ass we are about it, the better. Cool, so what's your name anyway? My friends just call me Senpai. Dave it is. That sounds like it could get confusing, especially since I'm a senior too, but okay, senpai. Fuck. We failed at the first hurdle. Right. But okay, Dave. There we are. What is your name? Well, it's Mizu or Yoku. Really? That sounds sounds like you would be a great match for the swim team, then. Is this just a generic pickup line? How are you going to... What? Yeah, I get that a lot, but I'm really not interested. Is there some famous swimmer I'm supposed to know about? I... <laughs> Especially since the swim team uh, seems to have such unusual requirements. That's fine, but we're always interested in you mem... Did... Was there an earthquake? What the crap? Sorry for bumping into you like that. Hoodie kid. Oh, that's right. So another member of the hoodie team. However, this guy feels just about self-conscious enough in order to put a hoodie on. And more to the point... Fuck off with a body like that, like six pack chiseled, and you're gonna be like, oh, but sometimes I get a little self conscious. Bollocks, no, you don't. Lies. Don't worry about it, Shotty. You might have trouble on land, but you're a pro in the water. Maybe soon I'll be fast enough to beat you, Senpai. I'd better be getting to class. Nice meeting you. 
That shotter, a sophomore. I don't know what that is. He only joined the swim team last month, but he's already our second best swimmer. <laughs> yeah, it's you who told him to do that. Looks like swim team members won't be hard to spot in a crowd. Yes, they even go to class in their swimming, like, trousers. You think they could at least put trousers on over the trousers? Here's your classroom. If you need any help with anything else, just ask me. I, we, we still appear to be in the same hall, don't we? Also, innovate. No. Innovate, yes. Very cute. Thanks. Well, this hallway looks exactly like the other one. I would have never found it by myself. Are you poking the? Are you poking fun at yourself? Hmm. Ha ha! Got lost and still made it to class before the teacher. That's how you know I'm a pro at this. There we are with the celebrating again. Cut it down a T. Hello. Are you Mizu Ozogiyu? Yes. Uh, are you about to give me a potion? Which contains, like, bull hair and goat testicle. Um, yes. Hi, I'm your teacher. Fuck off for you, my teacher. I know, and look, I get the school's supposed to be liberal, but really? I mean, she literally has a carrot top. And I don't mean ginger. Like, literal carrot top. Like, even strawberry top growing out of her head. Like, and it is growing out of her head like a fruit. That's not hair. Hair doesn't grow that weirdly. Hey, I'm your teacher. Just take a seat wherever and try not to die or anything. That's reassuring. I guess the lax dress code applies to both the swim team and the teachers. Good to know. Sit wherever, huh? Pretty easy when there's only one seat left. Well, we found our third swimming athlete member. Right next to yet another swim team member. Swim team must be pretty popular. You've only seen three, I mean... It's like, yeah, we're always looking for new members. This is to everyone. It's just guys wanting to see girls topless. I see how it is. Hey, man, I guess you're on the swim team, t right? Hey, man. Jesus Christ, I'm not a stoner. Do you want something? Sulky, dude. Just wanted to talk? Well, don't. I guess nice abs don't equal a nice personality. Well done for only finding that out now. Jesus, I spent class making friends with a girl next to me. Turns out we both like casting metal. Good times. We both like casting metal. What an odd fucking coincidence that is. Oh, yeah. Lunchtime. I don't see anyone I know, though. Fourth member. Hey, girl. Haven't seen you before. <clears throat> and I thought everyone... I knew everyone on campus. Is that how you greet everyone? Hands behind your head. Puff my abs out. Hello, good looking. Like, is that how you greet everyone? Hmm. Well, every girl on campus, anyway. <laughs> Get him smug, Jesus Christ. If there's Edgar. If I said Ilmari had a punchable face. This guy. Much more punchable face. Oh, that's promising. I know I shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but right now he's looking like the cover of a manual for pickup artists. Uh, I'm not sure this is quite the right contest to judge a book by its cover. I mean, he's already opened it and revealed the first several pages, and they've all been covered and smeared in the finest of cow shit. Like, we've gone past the blurb at this point. Nice smile, though. And nice abs. And nice eyes. And I do need a place to sit. Hi, I'm Mizu Ogyogu. I'm new here. I'm going to struggle with that name. I know I am. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong as well. Would you mind if I sit with you? Sounds good. I would love to get to know you. That... Mm. Yeah, also, can you tell? It's a, it's a Chrome browser flash game, see? Right click. Hmm. Yeah, sounds good. I would love to get to know you. I don't think that is true. Great. Where are you sitting? I was sitting with some friends, but let's meet at that table in the corner so we can talk in private. Yeah, I should probably explain some things before this goes too far. How to put this casually? Thanks for the help, it's been a confusing time, moving for a new place, realising I'm asexual, getting the cats a spade, so casual. Wow, I never would have guessed from just looking at you. Well, I mean, you put it like that, I guess. <laughs> You're the kind of person who'd wait this long to spat their cat. Current one, current score, book one, cover zip, yes. My friends call me Pimpkin. Dave, hello Dave. By the way, we're sitting over at that table. You should come and sit with us after you get your food. Looks like lunchtime might be pretty fun after all. It's not quite fitting in with my definition of fun. Now that lunch is over, it's time for class again, Blog. 
Except no one's here. It's free period, you know. Let me guess, everyone's at the swimming pool. Right, that. You can go outside or to the lounge or the computer lab. Meanwhile, I get to stay here and grade papers, joy. I feel as if this isn't actually how a teacher would react in said situation. Oh, the possibilities, a whole free period. <laughs> I am going to the pool, because I think everyone is going to be there. I'm definitely going to the pool. Were you even paying attention? Outside lounge or computer lab? I don't think the pool is even open now. I'm going to not the pool. Eh? Yeah. Well, I guess I'll go somewhere else then, like places, all the places. Whatever, kid, outside of class time, you're not my responsibility. Then why did you tell me off again to the- Pfft, whatever, don't even care. This pool is apparently the most important thing in the whole darn school. Yeah, because we've seen four people in a swimming outfit. And we've been to lunch and class. And we've walked around the halls and we've seen four people. The most important thing in the world! Mm. There is no way I'm not seeing this even if the door is locked. I've defeated doors before, I can do it again! You probably can't. Okay, I've been wandering around for a good five minutes and all these hallways look identical. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it is the same one. I mean, it's even the same door with Innovate spelt. Uh, reversed and flipped around. And there's the same Innovate door every time. I feel as if it's either trying to justify its lack of art or taking the piss out of itself. I'm gonna go with taking the piss out of itself. It's called swimming anime dating sim for fuck's sake. Maybe you should try innovating your hallway design, Jax. Wait, splashing sounds maybe I'm closer than I thought. Or there's just a mass orgy. We don't know yet. Nope, okay, it's a pool. Yep, someone's in here. I hope they don't rat me out for violating the school's stringent outside lounge comp lab free period policy. Here are here are, here are often known as O L C L F P P. Yeah, that'll go down like a treat. Everyone will know what you're on about. But hey, the door's unlocked and I'm a new student. For all I know, this is a totally normal place to go. I deny all charges. The person is coming out of the call and it's that kid from earlier. Hoodie kid. Hoodie kid. He's not even attractive. Hi, Dave. I'm not saying that word. I refuse to say that word. It's not happening. Oh God, he knows my name. Should I know his name? We met for all of five seconds. We didn't exchange names, did we? Crap, 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 crap. Hey, dude. <laughs> dude. We are definitely in a stoner school. Dave told me you were new here. What do you think of our school? You two were talking about me? That's quite- Yeah, that is definitely the way to react in that conversation. I mean, you two can talk about whatever, but I just- Your school's kind of weird, not gonna lie. Do you think I'm weird? De yeah, that is definitely the way you'd reply. Do you think I'm weird? I don't remember fucking saying that or even alluding to it. Oh no, like you're wearing- more clothes than a lot of guys I've met today. I'm so glad a lot of guys I've met today. Yeah, three others. Glad about the non-weirdness or glad he won the award for most clothing? So Dave told me you're really good at swimming, right? That must be so cool. It's just because Dave is such a good teacher. He taught me almost everything I know. No, he didn't. You've been here a month. He did, he did not teach you everything you know. I'm pretty sure you haven't just learned to swim. Liar. Is there a lot to learn? Seems like it's mostly muscles and stuff, right? Oh no, there's way more to it than that. Even a natural swimmer needs to learn the right techniques. Are you a natural swimmer? That's a good question. Unnecessarily cryptic answer. Are you going to join the swim team, Dave? It's not really my thing, but if this thing, if this school has a foundry, I'm totally up for some metal casting. I don't think we have anything like that. This school just lost like five billion points. Yes, I'm sure the headmaster will be gutted. There's still a few minutes left in free period. Wanna swim with me? That's okay, I'll just watch. You can time me if you want. At least let me get ready before you dive into the water. Dang, that kid is fast. And just like that, we've just walked off. <laughs> anyway, kid, I know it's about the time, yeah, but um, I'm bored. I'm bored. I'm just gonna leave. My teacher seems much more fun with you. Let's uh. Let's go drink some bull semen with more goat testicle.